I'm now in conversation with Professor Jerry Sun. He's based in Wuhan, and I'm going to give you an opportunity to tell us a little bit about himself, how long he's been involved in the medical practice, uh, what he does, and something of the situation regarding coronavirus in Wuhan. So, Jerry, how long have you been involved in medicine? You look very young. Uh, yeah, I'm not young. I, I'm uh, stepping into the medical uh, career about uh, 20 years. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. And have you always been involved in um, uh, can treating cancer patients, or what is your career history? Uh, my major is non-cancer. I treat non-cancer uh, as my specialist. Yeah, uh, I focus on the uh, radiotherapy and the immunotherapy and the targeted therapy in non-cancer. Uh, also, some other kind of cancers. Okay, and so you've been involved in um, which hospital do you work in in uh, Wuhan? Uh, yeah, I'm from uh, Chongqing, Xinqiao uh, Hospital, uh, the Army Medical University, and I came to Wuhan at uh, Taikang Tongji Hospital. Okay, so you moved from Chongqing to Wuhan uh, because of the coronavirus situation. Yeah, I moved here. I moved here. Uh, it's a new hospital. Uh, uh, it's it's special for the uh, fighting of the COID-19 disease. Okay, so this new hospital uh, was it? How how long how long has it been open? Is it was it built specially for COVID-19? Yes, uh, it's a uh, it's an ongoing hospital. It's not uh, it's not for uh, this disease, but um, during the pandemic, uh, the hospital is changing his task. Then we use this hospital to defeat the virus. Okay, so the hospital has now been set up to treat the virus. When did you go to this new hospital? I went here at February 13th. Oh, February the 13th. Okay, so mm -hmm. you've been there almost uh, two months now. Yeah, yeah, um, about two months. And how many patients has this new hospital been treating for coronavirus? Uh, in the hospital, there are more than 2,000 two thousand patients. 2,000 patients. Mm -hmm. uh, and has, has the situation begun to uh, improve in Wuhan? We understand in the UK that the, uh, uh, the regime of uh, social isolation uh, is beginning to be relaxed a little bit. Is is that true? Uh, yeah, we just uh, finished the task of defeating the uh, the virus. Then we move from Wuhan to Dalian and uh, be isolated in the hotel. In the hotel. Ah, okay. So you've now moved to Dalian, um, mm -hmm. and um, the situation overall in China, we. We hear reports every day, um, and we're very happy to see uh, the other day that there were no new deaths from coronavirus. That's how our report said. Um, and I think we, in the UK, we are following an example of China uh, in helping to deal with the problem. Uh, with We have lockdowns now, uh, and especially for people who are vulnerable. So in my case, uh, myself uh, and my partner, my partner Jackie, she has uh, COPD, so she is one of the patients at risk. Uh, and because I am uh, 70 years old, uh, it means also that I uh, ha have to go into self isolation. So I'm very fortunate that I live right out in the countryside. So I am able to go for a walk in the morning in the countryside for exercise because I don't see anybody when I walk across the, the fields. So it's not so bad for me, 
and of course we have technologies like this where we can uh, speak to each other from any part in the world uh, but it's very difficult for some people in the UK if they live in a small house or an apartment with a family and they can't go out they can only stay at home that, that is what the government is telling everybody to stay at home uh, and help to protect the National Health Service. So, yeah, I think uh, London and the UK will be better and better. Uh, I, I just uh, experienced uh, the, the hard time in, in China. I think I believe uh, I wish London and, and the UK will be better and better. Yes, yes, it's, uh, we're starting to, things, things are starting to improve. Uh, but this weekend in the UK, it is our Easter celebration. So normally it would be a holiday on Monday and a lot of families would get together. The children would not be at school. Uh, and so they would normally be going to the park, going to visit places. And no one can do this because uh, we have a lockdown uh, and it's a lockdown for the whole of the UK, not just London. It's everywhere. Mm -hmm. So it's a difficult good, situation. We... Yeah, it's mm -hmm. a difficult situation. But, um, mm -hmm. yeah, so, so you're in Dalian now. Um, and um, how long do you think you will be in Dalian? Uh, half a month. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good. Well, I'm hoping that we can arrange a, a webinar and invite you as a guest alongside other uh, people in your profession uh, with your background uh, to have a little panel discussion so that we can share experiences and following this interview today I will be publishing this uh, on the internet and I appreciate there are some restrictions on how you can access videos uh, but I will be publishing this on my own website so I will send you a link to the conference and all the individual presentations as well as your interview. And I hope to be able to do all of that, if not later today, uh, then it will be available at the beginning of next week, but I'm hoping that I can do it later today. So mm -hmm. thank you very much for joining me this afternoon. It's very much appreciated because I know uh, that you are a very busy man and the situation is difficult in China as it is in here. So thank mm -hmm. you once again and I look forward to talking to you again and including you in other webinars where we use the Zoom platform so you're able to join in. It's my pleasure. Okay, thank you very much.